Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jason and I'm back with another video for The Fitness Faction. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what you should look for when trying to um, select a whey protein powder. So first I'm going to go over a few things that I discussed in my other protein video which I'll have an annotation in the screen somewhere over here. When selecting protein powder, it's important to remember that protein is a food source that should only be used to supplement your diet and it should only be used to help you achieve your daily protein intake. You shouldn't rely solely on whey protein powder as your only source of protein. You should however look to whole foods such as meats, such as chicken, fish, steak, etc. Um, in order to achieve your protein goals. So protein should be used sparingly and only if you need it. So for example, um, if you can get all your protein from whole food sources such as eggs, meat, etc then fine, you don't even need a whey protein powder. But for most people um, can't really afford to be cooking a steak for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So they need that whey protein powder to help them achieve their daily protein intake. Um, so next I'm going to talk to you about how protein is actually manufactured. So prote whey protein is actually a byproduct of the cheese making process. So um, most supplement companies actually don't make their own protein, even though some of them will state they do. Supplement companies get their whey protein from cheese manufacturers. Um, so what happens is, um, obviously cows produce milk, which is turned into cheese. And um, what's left over from the cheese making um, process is the whey. This goes through a process of um, special filtration and drying that is used to produce the whey protein. So supplement companies buy the whey off the cheese and then they filter it and dry it in order to um, come to the product that we know as whey protein. So what do I look for when I'm selecting protein? Well, I've got the protein that I use right here. Um, it's just from, a, it's actually from a direct company, like it's not from like one of the big brands like Optimum Nutrition or something. I buy my protein direct from um, the wholesaler and it just comes in like a big box. I order in like batches of 10 kilos so they come in like um, four 2.5 kilo bags and yeah this this will last me about a month like per bag so I only have to order protein every four months or so. So what do I look for when I'm buying um, protein. Well, the first thing I look for is um, the highest amount of protein per serving. Um, now, I've seen brands that go as low as like 28 grams per serving. Um, I try and look for at least 30, 32 grams of protein per serving. Um, this whey protein powder actually has um, 33 grams per serving, so that's pretty good. Um, I wouldn't really go anything below 28 grams per serving. Um, the second thing I look for is the lowest amount of carbs and fats. So when I take protein powder, I don't really want to get anything but protein. I only use the protein powder to help me achieve my protein goals. So anything else that comes in the protein powder is sort of something that I'd rather get from other foods. So if I want more carbs, I'll just go eat a banana. If I want more fats, I'll go eat some almonds. Like, I don't want to be getting my carbs and fats from protein powder. So when looking for protein powder, I try and um, find the brand that has the, um, the lowest um, amount of carbs and fats. Um, this protein right here only has um, 4 grams of carbs per serving, which is pretty decent. It's not the best, but it's alright. And um, it's only got 3 grams of fat per serving, which isn't too bad either. So yeah, I like to try and keep that the carbs and fats as low as possible. Um, the third thing I look for is the lowest amount of calories per serving as well. So pretty much the same rule as with the carbs and fats, you know, I'm only using the protein powder to get my protein. I don't really want to get extra calories from my protein powder. I would rather eat something else to get my extra calories in. You know, if I want more calories, I'll eat more fruit or, um, you know, I'll eat more food. You know, why get calories from protein powder which isn't very um filling you know um it's not very i don't find drinking protein powder like to be too enjoyable if you know what I, if that makes sense like i would rather get 
my calories and my carbs and my fats from whole food than from a protein powder. Like the protein is just used to get my protein in. Um, the fourth thing I look for is a good amino acid profile. So um, I don't really take a separate amino acid supplement. Um, I just make sure that my whey protein has a good um, set of amino acids. Um, so you want to look for things like alanine, arginine. Most of the brands um, I find, they will have good amino acid profiles. But you'll find some that don't really have much amino acids. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind, you know. It's something, like, to look out for, you know. Why buy a separate supplement for amino acids when you can, you know, put two and two in one and get your amino acids from your whey protein powder. That's the way I look at it anyway. Um, the fourth thing... Sorry, the fifth thing um, I look for is taste. Um, this is something that a lot of people overlook, you know. Um, taste. Why get a protein that tastes shitty, you know. If you want to... You're going to be drinking it probably at least once a day, maybe even more if you don't eat a lot of meats and stuff like that. So, you want it to taste great. Um, the flavor for this is chocolate. Chocolate's probably my favorite out of all the flavors, like in most protein brands, but... Uh, flavors will often vary depending on brand. Like this chocolate will taste different to another chocolate pro from a different protein manufacturer. So you just got to, that's personal preference, you know. Other good flavors I've um, tried are iced, iced mocha, that's really good. Um, vanilla, banana's not too bad. And yeah, there's probably countless of other, countless other protein flavors out there. That just comes down to preference. And so you got to, um, you got to decide what you like, you know, I can't tell you what you like. And finally, um, the last thing I look for is price. Um, um, you're going to be going through protein quite significantly, so you don't want to be breaking the bank on, like, the, the most expensive protein. What you want to do is, like, find, what I do is try and find a middle, like, um, most of the things that I mentioned previously, you know, like, highest amount of protein per serving, lowest amount of carbon fats, like, these will probably be the more expensive sorts of pro protein. So, you got to decide how much you're willing to spend. And, you know, I wouldn't go breaking the bank on protein, you know. At the end of the day, it's, like I said, it's only used to get your, um, pro get your protein intake. It's only used to help get your protein intake, sorry. And I wouldn't go, like, getting the most expensive one, for example. I'd rather spend the money on meat or chicken or fish, you know. At least that way, um, you know, it's a bit more filling, you know, and just try and find a middle between quality and price, you know. So don't go for the most expensive and don't go for the cheapest either. Just um, you got to decide what you can afford to pay and, yeah, um, and, yeah, just decide from then on. So, um those are what, that's what I look for when selecting whey protein. I'll just go over it again. So I look for the highest amount of protein per serving, lowest amount of carbs and fats per serving, lowest amount of calories per serving, um, the, a good amino acid profile, taste, and price is the last thing. So that's kind of the priority that I go from. So the first one is the most, the highest priority, and the price is probably the lowest priority I look for. Um, but that depends on when choosing protein, choose wisely, you know, and yeah, basically choose your protein to suit your needs. And yeah, hopefully I've raised a couple of interesting, you know, points to get you thinking about like what you should be looking for when choosing protein. I hope I helped you out today, guys. I really do. Um, please check out the Facebook page and the website. Uh, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next video. Thanks.